friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a cataract with grade 2 plus or grade 3 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery after the main incision the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% SPMC and the SPMC is applied over the cornea for better visibility this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. The side ports are about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. And now, rexis with a uterator forceps. A capsular tag is raised. A capsular tag is healed with the forceps. And the tag is guided anticlockwise all around remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus an adequate sized rexis is done. The rexis is complete. Now hydro dissection. BSS is passed just under the anterior capsular rim with a 27 gauge cannula fluid wave goes to the other side hydrodelineation is also done and now the nucleus is rotated very nicely clockwise as well as anticlockwise some more visco is applied in the anterior chamber and now is the time to introduce the tip of the feco needle the machine being used is Oatly Catarex 3 from Switzerland the tip goes some superficial cortical lens matter is removed the nucleus is free and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up and now watch direct chow the tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus and when the cataract is of this consistency we can hold only the central part if we cross the central part we may not be able to hold because the peripheral part is having softer nuclear material this is so one heminucleus is already removed this is the other heminucleus FECO power used is 60%, fluoride is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now epinucleus. The epinucleus comes to the tip. And now there is a lot of cortical lens matter in this case. And in this case, I am going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration. In this case, I have used irrigation through the left side port, aspiration from the right first, and I am pulling the cortical lens matter, holding the portion of the cortex which is just under the anterior capsular rim it means the anterior portion of the cortex is to be held and it is to be pulled very gently keeping an eye on the jonule if the jonule is weak and if we pull such thick cortical lens matter sometimes genular dialysis may occur so we have to keep an eye on that in this case this didn't happen genule was okay and now this is hydro polish so the cortical cleanup has been done very nicely there is a lens fiber at the left side port so I'm going to remove that again and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens 
since I am going to use a B cartridge, I'm going to enlarge the main wound to about 3 mm because sometimes if we try to try wound assisted delivery with B cartridge, the lens may get stuck at the wound. So it is better to enlarge the main wound just a little bit and we can very easily implant the lens. Wound assisted delivery has another problem. It may cause DMD that is decimates membrane detachment. So it is better to enlarge the main wound little bit to avoid the complications. And now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side ports are now closed, hydrating corneal stroma with BSS. BSS is injected in the, in the corneal stroma on either side of these stab wounds and the side ports get closed. Now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. After a thorough lavage of the anterior chamber, the anterior chamber is formed in this way. The intraocular pressure is kept on the higher side of the normal. And now the integrity of the wounds are checked. There should not be any leakage from any side, neither from the main incision nor from the side ports. Few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. When there is a lot of cortical lens matter is left as in this case, be careful as you pull the cortical lens matter. The pull should be gentle, should not be vigorous. Hold a small amount of cortex and pull. If you hold a large amount of cortex and if you pull it vigorously there may be genular dialysis.